Uh, from, from, from a brand point of view, you know, it's got a, a very cross section, you know, with, within the range. The innovation is, is normally pretty good from Tano, you know, they're always developing things quite flexible to listen to, uh, to the users. Uh, for instance, you know, like all the new, new range of subs, very low profile, fit under seats and whatever, which, which is ideal for the current sort of trend of uh, lounge bars and, you know, sort of restaurant -y bars that run into quite high level music later on in the evening. My name is Paul Davis. I'm technical director for a company called LightPros, which is primarily a uh, lighting and audiovisual system integration company based in Dubai. Recently, Jumeirah um, come to me with a fairly technical project for a refurbishment of the 360 restaurant, which was initially a seafood restaurant on the ground level with a fairly successful uh, rooftop bar and lounge bar uh, chill out zone on the rooftop. This has been sort of up for refurbishment for quite some time and Jumeirah asked me you know, what we could do in conjunction with the interior design to uh, integrate all the systems with, with a complex interior lighting scheme and uh, generally improve the area. Originally uh, upstairs we faced a fair bit of pressure from the DJs because they really liked the existing systems. Um, and uh, we were under some pressure to try to keep the same brand. Acoustically on the ground floor in the new, in the new areas it's quite challenging because it's very narrow, it's circular and it's got some very heavy reflective surfaces. Basically I looked at several solutions and uh, came up with uh, the new uh, VX15 solution with uh, some 15 band passes which are spread around the room um, firing inwards from the windows to avoid reflections and uh, this actually produced the, the results that we needed. Um, interestingly enough, the resistance that we faced from the, the DJs and the production staff which generally rent the venue a couple of nights a week, um, they were actually very very surprised in terms of what, what the actual end result was and the performance that we're, that we're able to uh, achieve. From a client point of view, they're definitely they're definitely happy with what we've done. Uh, like you, like you've seen, it's a it's a complete package, uh, including you know extremely complex lighting control with a kilometer of LED in there, uh, 1680 channels of DMX, um, all integrated, some moving heads, uh, some static lights, uh, some general uh, some general dimming for the architectural, and then also integrated them with the audio where we're triggering various scenes from the audio and uh, everyone seems happy with the, with the concept. I'd, I'd used Tano, I'd used Tano and, and known of them for, for a long, long time. You know, I've done, I've done several projects before, uh, you know, di completely different background music, distributed audio, uh, I'd used them, you know, over a period of, a period of time. But um, on this particular case, I, I, it was a case of finding something which really suited that, that particular bar and uh, they, they actually did from the, from the performance and you know the home coverage and uh, the, the way that the driver worked it was a compact box also for the 15 to be to be flown plus as well obviously with the, the amplification on board it just made it a, a very very simple install and uh, distribution for us you know from the uh, the biome systems which we're using to uh, to control it as well so uh, for the clients themselves seem to like it and uh, hopefully we've got a couple of other projects there which are background music with small stage and front of house PA um, and I'm actually specifying you know similar products um, into, into those bars as well.